Hey there, welcome back to RimWorld. Um, before I do anything else, I forgot to do community outreach last episode, so before we lose the ability to do that, it's supposed to be done on 4th of December. It's now the 10th, so it's a bit late. I'm going to get that done now. I think sometimes this can produce a colonist for us. I think that's how I set this one up. Um, which might be bad, I don't know. We don't have a lot of food at the moment. <laughs> Uh, no, we do. The meals, they just haven't been hauled yet. Okay, that's fine. Get those hauled. Uh, another big thumbs down. Kiwi subtly scorned Henry's shooting skills. These guys hate each other. Alright, this looks like more reasonable conversations, at least. Carlo and Henry chatted about coves. Uh, Raccoon and Henry quipped about friendly dentists. Carlos said a word to her about makeup to Henry. Uh, Kiwi and Raccoon talked about lakes. Uh, Rat gabbed about birthdays with Purple. What is a star conversation? Oh, tried to convert an um, ideologian, okay. Well, that's not great. Well, I'm glad they're having more reasonable conversations now instead of just thumbs down constantly. Maybe they can stop hating each other this episode, that would be nice. Alright, there go our, um, our pamphlets being posted out to the world. Oh, accidentally clicked the world button. I just ruined the moment. Alright, as I was saying, there go my- okay, never mind, there's a social fight as well. Carlo tried to convert Ramp to her religion. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, my colony is not, it's not a terribly friendly place overall. Very nasty people. But they got our pamphlets, so you know, maybe they'll be successful and they'll they'll reach someone in need. <laughs> we'll we'll want to come and you know hang out and fit in with us. What was that one? Henry derided Kiwi's jawline. Brutal. All right, it was unforgettable. Did not produce a colonist, but uh, we did get plus ten moods. That's nice. Let's check the social standings for a second. Uh, Kiwi is Purple's rival, apparently. Good to know. Uh, also, Henry is... Henry is Purple's stepson. Right, okay, so <laughs> Ramp is Henry's father. That's pretty good. Uh, Suki and Kiwi, both uh, rivals of Henry. Uh, Ramp doesn't have any rivals yet. Uh, <laughs> Henry's father, that's pretty funny as well. Uh, Rat, rival of Kiwi. I think Kiwi is just everyone's rival. Oh, because Kiwi has creepy breathing, I think. Right, okay. So people don't like... People don't like Kiwi because of his creepy breathing. I see, I see. What about Suki? Yeah, Suki, rival of Ramk and Kiwi. Uh, Ramk is physically unsightly as well. That's right, yeah. Ugly. <laughs> so, the root cause of... Some of the uh, dislike going around. Alright, anyway, there's the social festival. We're also meditating. While we're meditating, I should use a word of inspiration on someone. Uh, I don't see ramp here. I guess we'll do... Kiwi? Work frenzy, that's nice. So Kiwi just got linked to a tree, so I was hoping for something that might speed up um, tree pruning. So yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so things are generally doing alright at the moment. Uh, we have trees to pull out. I've set up another bit of like mixed-use farmland over here. Some more corn, some potatoes, some uh, rice. Lots of different types of terrain over here, so... Um, putting rice in the good soil, corn in the normal soil, and potatoes in the bad soil. Uh, pulling out more trees, pulling out trees over here. Probably try and roof some of this so that the trees stop growing. Need some sandbags in here. Harvesting berries, because, you know, can't be too careful. We have tons of wood now. Four woodmaker druids is a lot of wood. Currently sitting on 600, so that's pretty good. And uh, another little plan over here for some individual bedrooms. So I'll set that up next. I'd like to put it on at least decent soil, so that we can put a load of trees in the middle. That whenever they exit their bedroom, they'll um, 
I'll walk past a bunch of nice trees. We can put trees around here as the path leads out as well. Um, so it's a bit hard to see at the moment because it's just a plan. But I'll pull the trees out, put the walls in. It'll start to look a bit clearer. Uh, and then we'll furnish it all as well. Might be able to do a lot of wooden furnishings because, yeah. War Dryads is making quite a bit of wood at the moment, so that's not too bad actually. Um, wait, what? I have killed our dog. That's... how? You died of malnutrition? There's a meal right next to you. Well... Alright, don't... Don't butcher the dog, okay? Let's not butcher the dog. Okay, that was... That's not a good... That's not a good start to the episode. Um, I thought that the animals always just got fed when they ran out of food. It looked like someone had bought the dog a meal, but... She didn't eat it. Uh... Alright, I feel bad. I I've let the dog down. Um... Alright, that's on me. Don't know what else to say. I'll get a grave dog for the dog. Um, that was Purple's dog, apparently. Uh, yeah, minus eight. Such a tender, unique animal. This universe is evil. Um, yeah, I'm just stupid, I think. I thought I thought for sure she was getting fed. Alright, well, that was a bit of an oversight. I should probably have been taking better care of the dog now that we had food coming in. I could have been making kibble or something. Um... All right, look. I've had a lot of a lot of stuff to plan. Okay, it's, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm gonna get a grave dog. All right, it's the best I can do. All right, I've dug a nice central grave for uh, Velvet over by the Garland trees. Um, don't know what to say. Uh, farewell, Velvet. Right, there's some basic um, buildings planned out. Um, I did encounter some marshy soil here. So I can't floor that, unfortunately, but hopefully... Um, yeah, hopefully I can build a bed over it, at least. That would be something. Um, it does look like I can, because it lets me place it here. So it might be okay. Also got lots of um, space for trees here as well. Uh, strike Stash of Fortune. Okay, quest. Strike Ethical Mind of Verlior Confederacy has informed us of a collection of valuable items. Glitter World Medicine and a Gun Link. And this is pretty close by. Um, we've got lots of stuff kind of nearby. Ancient Complex, Worshipful Village, Item Stash. Next time we go out trading we can uh, pick up a bunch of quests, I think, on the way. Alright, missing out on a bit of fertile terrain here, but that's okay. Make this a little outdoor table or something. That'll look fine. Uh, let's see. I keep doing trees around here too. Oh, not there either. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Purple has inspired taming. Uh, not sure we have much use for that at the moment. Exterior trap corridor is coming along. Damn, we just got a load more wood again. How much wood are we on now? 5, 2, 3. And we can do animal linking again. Did I ever try to do purple again? Just in case there is another... No, there isn't. Okay. So... Uh, Henry it is then. Let's see what Henry gets as his first power. Henry's also a great shooter, but it's hard to put him in combat because he's new. I don't want him to get hit by an arrow with no clothes on and take loads of damage. Uh, stun, again. Alright, that seems really useful, so I don't mind that. 
Regrets Henry. Still nine Anima Grass left behind as well, so. Uh, let's give. Uh, is Ramp nearby? Give Rank an inspiration as well. Maybe we'll get creativity again. Uh, inspired Taming. Alright, well. <laughs> could do lots of Taming, but. Oh, hey. This guy was never hauled. I'll stick this guy in the uh, locality again. I just uh, went around removing all the locality squares that are outside of the actual locality. Guess we'll get the elephant pulled in there. Still doing okay on meals though, and yeah, rice and stuff's getting hauled in there. Not the rice harvest coming in at the moment too. That's all okay. Uh, Henry, would you like an inspiration? Shoot frenzy. That's pretty good if we get attacked. Uh, okay, we have tons of food now. We've got, like, rice just lying in the fields, potatoes, still loads of stuff in the um, stockpile. Might not even need these new farms just yet. Uh, we might have hit the point where these farms are finally um, producing enough for us. I guess we're future-proof, though. We are going to lose the two guests as well, which will make food even easier to take care of, I think. Oh, but then we might recruit higher this episode as well. I guess it evens out. Well, then again, we've been eating higher anyway, so that doesn't really change much, does it? <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, chunks of spacecraft have landed very nearby. I guess there's no rush to deconstruct that, is there, though? We don't need the, um... Uh, Manhunting cougars. Okay, I think we haven't opened this door yet, though. Um, so they shouldn't bother us too much. A uh, good time to make a new zone that's just inside the walls. Or oh, did I already do that? I did already do that. Alright, stay inside the walls, guys. I'll just double check that zone is correct, and then uh, I'll hit unpause. Alright, the cougars are just gonna. They're just gonna hang out outside for a bit. They can. Uh, they can protect us from any raiders that might stop by. Uh, disease malaria again, really? Kiwi, Suki, and Ramp. God damn it. Uh, Kiwi, Suki, Ramp. How much medicine have we got? Well, quite a lot though still. I guess that's not too bad. Use a dedicated hospital room. Uh, maybe when Haya's been recruited I'll turn this into a hospital. Uh, which shouldn't be long. 1.3 resistance. Oh, and Shuttle has arrived to collect our friends. Um... Well, hopefully they can survive the cats. Gonna miss these guys, they've been helping with, um... <laughs> hauling and research and stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Ah, so this was the other quest that had the Masterwork Great Bow. Okay, I wasn't crazy. Yeah, so we got another quest with the Masterwork Great Bow. Um, I think Suki's hauling that now? Or... Rat, maybe? Okay, Rat's gone. Masterwork Great Bow. Um, I'll have Suki get this one then. Lost it already. Might be getting hauled. Flash Storm, where's that? Uh, long way away from us, so that's okay. Alright, there you go, Suki. You can upgrade to a Masterwork Great Bow. And we have some walls going down as well. <laughs> nice to see. Uh, just checking in on the malaria status. Suki looks fine, 39 of 24. Uh, Kiwi looks fine, 41 of 25. And Ramp looks fine, 37, 38 of 25. Didn't get quite as good a 10 as the other ones though. Wonder where that is. Well, they should all pull through though. I'll keep making a rat clean this room. 
Even give him a go frenzy. Uh, shoot frenzy. Well, okay. Good enough. Aha, nice, and we have a new recruit. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Okay. There are still some Patreon supporters to be renamed, so... This one, I believe, is... Kuspi? I'm gonna hope the tape pronounce that. I don't know how to re rename people's actual names, so... You just get the nickname. Um, let me know if you want that different or not. Well, there you go. Kuspi. Uh, another underground, uh, this one's neurotic. Um, I can foresee many mental breaks in your future. Like plants and construction, though, that's a really nice combination of um, traits, actually. Let's set that up now. Alright, pretty simple. Do construction and then plant stuff. Uh, maybe we'll mess around with those if we need more plants than constructions. For now, though, you've got your work cut out for you, so... Uh, have fun. Undergrounds are working outside in the rain all day. Gonna love it. Although, again, the rain doesn't bother us, I don't think. Though not too much of a big deal. Right, had to get Kiwi out of bed to uh, do some cooking for a bit. Ran out of meals again. We have tons of raw food though, so it's not too bad. Uh, quest available. Uh, Nader's Forsaken Nomads. Four desperate refugees are approaching. Uh, they say a great flash storm burned down their home. Want to stay for 11 days? Alright, four more um, refugees, why not? Uh, it's charity as well, so... For role-playing purposes, let's accept them and blow up our food stockpile. Why not? Uh, welcome, guys. Let's see what your ideology is. Human archism. I think we've seen this before. So these guys are transhumanists. It's gonna be a bit odd living with a bunch of tribes, I think. But um, you know, try to make yourself comfortable, I suppose. Um, <laughs> some more sleeping spots for you. Uh, do your best to find somewhere to sleep. Alright, just gonna have these guys help out with um, hauling and research and cleaning and stuff. Maybe they can do some plant stuff or mining. I don't really like having guests do crafting because... Uh, or construction, because sometimes they... they build stuff in their own ideology style, not ours. Um, and we don't like that, so... Yeah, they can just do the basic tasks, that's fine. Uh, hopefully we have enough food to support these guys. These plants, sh these um, farms should be getting sown soon. I think. Uh, I could put Kuspi on... Uh, oh, it looks like he's doing some planting actually. Or some harvesting at least. Maybe we've run out of sandstone blocks actually. Oh, that looks likely. Yeah. I have to move more chunks inside. Uh, plenty of stuff for us to mine, though, so that's not a big deal. Uh, Heatwave, okay. But this time we have actual wood, so we can easily just um, put coolers down. Still have these two. <laughs> this should be okay. Uh, why not? I'll put them in these rooms as well. I should turn this into a hospital, I think. Do I have textiles to make new bedrolls? That would be cool. Uh, lots of elephant leather. How much material does this take? Oh, There's only 40. Light leather, pig skin, plain leather. Sounds good. Right. See if that gets built. Alright, the indoors is looking cool enough. 17 in the hospital, 28 in the main room. I uh, got a couple of little bedrolls set up for a hospital. It's probably better than the other room. It's slightly less dirty, I suppose. Well, I think we like having a hospital, so I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, dull hospital. I'm stuck in a dull hospital. Oh, okay. Well, either way, it's set up. Easier to clean this room than this one, I think, as well. I think everyone's probably pretty close to getting over malaria now, though. Ramk is 87 of 63. 
Kiwi is 94 of 60, and Suki is 94 of 61, yeah. I think you guys are fine. I'll send you back to work. Right, the regular floor for the um, huts is done. So I can add in these um, totemic slab things. Which should be pretty cool. Uh, they can go in the middle. Make the rooms look a bit more interesting. Uh, major break risk. Spirit. Let's see, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with spirit? Um, hot, darkness, no body mods, slept on ground, slept in heat, disturbed sleep, bratty apparel, uncomfortable soaking wet. Okay, well, I'm not going to do anything about any of those things, so you're going to just have to deal with it, unfortunately. Oh, I suppose since the hospital isn't in use now, I could turn this into a guest room, I suppose. Because we have four guests. Uh, Kuspi needs a bed, though. Let's see. You can have an elephant hide bed, then. <laughs> Should be nice. Right, some more visitors. Not sure what these guys are going to have to trade, but maybe they'll have something. Uh, we do have some old clothes we can get rid of, so that's something, I suppose. Old recurve bows. Uh, we do have lots of ambrosia we could get rid of, but I don't really have much silver anyway. Uh, why not, though? We'll clear them out. We've got more ambrosia than we need at the moment. Uh, this might regrow pretty quick as well. 55 already? Oh, and the anima tree is up. Uh, Henry, let's see what you get this time. Major brick risk, purple. I wonder what that's about. Purple. Uh, observe rotting corpse, bonded animal velvet died. Where are the rotting corpses? I guess you walked out here. Uh, I could try moving those somewhere else. Uh, and let's see what Henry got. Uh, neural heat dump. Instantly dump all your neural heat into someone else. The target must actively accept the psychic invasion, so only conscious allies can be targeted. Okay. So if you have like a high heat ability you want to spam, you can use somebody else to soak it up. It's basically like a communion slave from Dominions, that's pretty funny. That uh, works pretty well then. Uh, not, so what does, not sure what to do about purple's moods. Might be okay though. Alright, nice to see housing getting built. The trees put in as well. Some paths. It'll look nice when it's finished. Um, coming to the end of the time I have for this though, and... It's been a pretty chill episode so far. Uh, Randy seems very kind. I mean... I haven't even had an attack in a while, I don't think. Uh, let's see, how do I see that again? So what was that? We had a Manhunter pack then? Wow, we've had like no events for... Alright, there's another Manhunter pack though. Uh, Manhunting Iguanas. Four of them. Yeah, I mean... Randy seems a lot easier to deal with than Cassandra. Because Cassandra has like some sort of intent, you know? Whereas Randy's just doing whatever, and um... Yeah, he's not really... doing much to us that's aggressive. Uh, which is, you know, a bit weird. I guess I'll send the guys out to um, kill some iguanas. Something a bit different. Uh, oh, Kuspi needs a ranged weapon. Did I keep you a bow? I did not. I'll get Ramp to do another recurve bow.
Alright, let's go face these vicious iguanas on the field. I mean, I'm assuming iguanas are going to be easy to deal with. This won't be like a huge mistake. I should have... Should have pulled them in a the doorway or something. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine. How bad can an iguana be? I suppose we might have trouble hitting it due to um, foggy rain. Okay, we are actually having trouble hitting them. Maybe this was a mistake. Nah, it's fine. Fine if our guys can hit things. Alright, well, I'm going to leave the episode there. Uh, another very chill, relaxing episode of Sons of Lavago. Uh, did we also get over our malaria as well? Looks like it. People have a bit of heat stroke now. Well, mostly Henry because he's nude, but... Uh, yeah, it feels like we're still doing fine. Damn, we have 55 meals. That's way higher than the <laughs> do until you have 20. I guess they might have been lying on the floor for a while. But yeah, I got six colonists. Well, is it seven now? Seven colonists. Four guests. 55 meals. Getting housing built. Walls are done. Uh, everything seems fine. Uh, nothing bad is going to happen to my perfect colony. Uh, so thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you next time.